Because filling out large truth tables can often be tedious and time consuming, we will also manipulate Boolean expressions using algebraic laws. Now, many of these laws are common sense, but some of them have strange names. For example, the idempotence laws indicate that a or a is the same thing as a. Likewise, a and a is also the same as a. Now this law holds not just for any variable a, but for any arbitrary expression. So in this example, a could be a complex Boolean expression like we saw in a previous video. But if it is repeated with an or between, then you can simplify the whole thing to just one instance of the expression. Now, some of these laws have names you may be familiar with from algebra, such as commutativity. So commutativity laws indicate that the ordering of variables or expressions on either side of an operator don't matter. In other words, A or B is the same thing as B or A. And is also a commutative operator. Another name you may recognize is associativity. which indicates that the ordering of parentheses for certain operations don't matter. Specifically, A or B in parentheses or C is the same as A or B or C in parentheses. In fact, this law indicates that we can do away with parentheses altogether and simply express either of these as A or B or C. Logical AND is also associative. And notice that, as is common with regular algebra, I may sometimes do away with the dot operator altogether and simply put variables next to each other to indicate AND. Another important law, which you've no doubt seen before, is that of distributivity. You may also know this as foiling. Here is an example. A and B or C is equal to A and B or A and C. We say that and distributes over or. And because and looks like multiplication, and or looks like addition because of the symbols we've chosen to use, this no doubt looks similar to foiling. However, it turns out that or also distributes over and, which results in the following law which may look odd to you. A or B and C is equal to a or B and A or C. So this law is not true for multiplication and addition, but it is true for AND and OR. Yet another manner in which these operators, though similar looking, need to be interpreted differently when doing Boolean logic. Now we have a few more laws 
which have some unfamiliar names, such as domination, but they make sense once you understand what they're saying. A and zero is always equal to zero, no matter what A is. Another way of thinking of this is that A and false is always false. Similarly, A or one is always equal to one. Another way to think of this is that A or true is always true, no matter what A is. In this case, we say that zero dominates and, and that one dominates or, hence the name. There are also identity laws. These indicate that A and one equals A, and A or zero equals A. We say that one is the identity element of and because if you take A and one, you get back the element you put in initially. Similarly, zero is the identity element for or. Another law, which makes intuitive sense, is double negation. This simply says that if you negate an expression twice, you get back the original expression. So the negation of not A, indicated by two not bars above the expression, is equal to A. And we also have more general negation laws indicating that A and not A is always false or equal to zero and A or not A is always true or equal to one. Now the last two laws I'll show you are ones that you definitely or most likely have not seen before. You certainly have not seen them in the context of regular algebra, but they are very important laws known as De Morgan's laws. They are sort of like a method for distributing a negation, except it isn't quite as simple as that. There are two laws. One says that the negation of A or B is equal to the negation of A and the negation of B. So the whole expression was negated and now the individual components of it are negated, but on top of that the OR became an AND. So it is like distribution in that the negation is split up across sub-expressions but it is different from distribution in that the actual operator here changed from or to and. Similarly, the negation of A and B is equal to the negation of A or the negation of B. With time, you will need to learn to memorize all of these expressions, all of these laws, so that you can use them to simplify Boolean expressions, which we will see in the next video.